Igara West Member of Parliament Rafael Majezi rose to fame last year when he tabled the Constitutional Amendment Bill 2017, which lifted the presidential age limit after it was passed into law. I beg to move that the bill entitled the Constitutional Amendment Bill 2017 be read for the first time. I beg to move. Six months after the law was passed, Majeza has opened up to NTV that himself and his family are living in uncertainty after he continues to receive death threats from anonymous sources. This prompted police to give him counter-terrorism guards to secure his life. I've been open. I've told the public, I've told the president, and I've submitted every telephone contact of people who have been threatening me and my family. And, you know, people give lame excuses. That you brought a proposal in Parliament. What do you want me to do in Parliament if you don't want me to bring in a proposal? During the security meeting between President Museveni and members of Parliament on Wednesday, Majezi was one of the MPs who informed the President that the counter-terrorism guards assigned to protect them had abandoned them. The guards were afraid for their lives, especially after the gruesome murder of a Rome inspired MP Ibrahim Abiriga. Of course, the leaders of this country need to be secured. There's no doubt about it. But I think the more important point is we have a government, we have a president who is ready to go all the way to keep every Ugandan secure. According to Majezi, there is a list of five NRL members who were on the front line of supporting the age limit removal that have allegedly been singled out as prime targets and hence the need to boost their security. There are people, there is a one called Mugerwa who is on the social media recorded uh, saying now that we have finished Abiriga, the next one is you, and then the next one is you, and I'm one of those mentioned. So, if you have offered yourself to say, I'm going to kill you, then you are putting yourself in trouble. The Igara West legislator gets concerned about people who have failed to understand multi-party politics, where leaders can disagree politically without harming each other. By, by killing Rafael Majes, are you solving a problem? Now, if you say... Let's take the example of people who are saying Honorable Abiriga was killed because of his support for NRM. So when Abiriga went, has NRM weakened? So, I mean, that's being, um, that, that's failing to analyze a problem and prescribing a solution. But this, he says, cannot affect his support for the president and his party NRM. Now, if you get scared about dying, where do you go? <laughs> you, you, you sleep in the... We are in a cave or what? Because I get surprised. If you say you're going to die, that's, that's a given. That is as given as saying, Majesty, you were born. On the security measures highlighted by the president and the forthcoming LOC elections, Majesty is optimistic that the security situation in the country will be improved. I want to believe that security is for all of us. Security does not know the political party. Security does not know your religion. So. Eventually, the real call of the president, which we must support, is vigilance. Hubbard Ziwa, NTV Weekend Edition.